Today we're going to have a look at how to create a reflected ceiling plan for a bathroom. Recently we've been looking at bathroom detailing and bathroom internal elevations, but now we're going to look at a, a bathroom reflected ceiling plan as well as a bathroom plan, sort of by the same method. So what we've got here is a detail tool, or creating a detail marker. This has been revised in the newer edition of ARCHICAD and personally I don't like it as much. It's a bit more limiting. The one thing that I can't seem to get 22 to do anymore is to create a curved edge which I quite liked in the previous one. Why? Uh, because when it's a, a square edge or a rectangular edge it just means that it sort of blends into the drawing and can make it a little bit hard to read. For that reason it might be justified to make this a thicker line so it stands out a little bit more. Uh, as best as we can, you want to make sure that that line is obviously covering or enclosing the areas that you want, but not hiding something that's important because you want that box to be able to stand out to identify where that detail marker is or that detail is. Once we've created this, what does it do? So we go open with current view settings, and this creates for us a copy, if you like, or a view of what we were seeing. But what you find is it has turned all of the walls into two-dimensional elements. Now, not permanently. It's only temporarily. It's a copy of which can be continuously updated. So the doors are turned into lines and arcs and fills. And that means we can edit these if we want to, but if we want to update it and refresh it, so if I right click rebuild from source view, that will actually make it update. So if I go back to my plan for a second, back to upper ground floor, and if I was to extend this wall for instance, I'm only just doing this haphazardly, I will change it again, and we go back to, let's just do it the same way for now, open with current view settings. Now that won't automatically change unless I tell it to, but I can right click rebuild from source view and it will update. And not only will it update, but of course it will turn it into lines just as before. Now where's the problem with this? If I was to undo these changes, undo stretch, go back in here, we can see that it will again rebuild in the same way. If I add something, so let's add something to, well, let's edit, let's do it this way, open with current view, back into the view. If I was to stretch this manually, this is one way to do it. Of course, I could be a little bit more clever and just use the stretch tool. Let's undo that. Put a box around it, edit reshape stretch, and that will stretch all of this simultaneously. So that's another way of doing the same thing. If I then go eventually, because I want to make a change, if I've made a change on my 3D plan and I want to update this one, and I go rebuild from source view, What's it going to do? It's going to take that back to the way it was. So we have to be very, very careful of not doing anything two-dimensionally or any adjustments to this plan here with the document tools or the 2D tools because it will be updated with any changes that we've made to the 3D tools or the design tools. So therefore, what do we do? We should manage in 3D what we want to reflect from 3D and we should only add so we should add things into this view or turn layers off using layer settings that will work in 3D and 2D that will represent what we want. So I would recommend that this is more about adding smaller details. Maybe it's about adding dimensions or adding annotations. Now at the moment, I'm currently just talking about a floor plan. We're just creating or recreating a copy of a floor plan. We're not currently creating a reflected ceiling plan. So that's what's next. What have we created? We've created down here under details a linked or a sourced detail. Now we can create a saved view of this detail. So we can under details, save current view, and we can call this let's call it ensuite 
plan or ensuite detailed plan. Something like that. And now I might increase the scale. Uh, for now, we'll leave it at 1 to 25. And I can duplicate this. New, save current view. And this time I'll call this ensuite RCP. And all I'm going to need to do is change my layer combination from plan floor documentation to plan RCP. And it's going to turn off layers and turn on layers that represent what I want to see in a different way. Now there's some things that aren't correct or are missing. Maybe I need to rebuild from source view to be able to see those. So what do we see happens? We see that I've added these other things. What are these things? Well, it's only showing as lines and fills, but it's actually a slab in my 3D window. So because I've updated these, they're both now correct. And as a saved view, I can now toggle between these views. View settings, plan documentation, rebuild from source view, and ensuite RCP, rebuild from source view, and they will both change as is necessary. The problem is I don't want to constantly be rebuilding from source view. So what's a, another way of dealing with this? Of course I can continue to work that way. Another option, which is probably not recommended, is to break away from the 3D model altogether. Something that I do maybe suggest doing in elevations, but not necessarily from, from plan, and that is we create a independent detail. So we go back here, details, new independent detail, and maybe we just trace over. Let's just do this one. So we'll call this ensuite RCP trace. Again, I'm not recommending this, uh, but this is a possibility. So we trace over the saved view. How do we do that? Show us trace reference, and then we would replicate the information that we see. Now in a reflected ceiling plan, for a detailed bathroom plan, I don't necessarily need to repeat the, the walls and all of this area. Maybe I just need to focus on the interior space, so that might simplify that quite a lot. Uh, in the next video, we'll have a look at how to add some more of the detail and what type of information we need to show in order to be able to represent this the way that we want to see it.